Hey guys, James here, and in this video, I'm gonna go through setting up Coinbase Wallet. We'll go through the setup process and all the security settings that you need to know, then go through sending and receiving cryptocurrencies from Coinbase Wallet, and then we'll go through the dApps browser as well, amongst all the other features. Check out the video description for the timestamps of this video, plus some extra helpful videos listed in there as well. If you don't have an account with Coinbase yet, I'll leave the link there. You can click that, go through and sign up for a trading account so that you can use that with your Coinbase wallet. Coinbase wallet is completely free to use and it is made by Coinbase but it is also different than Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. Those two are trading apps and services that use centralized exchanges and custodian services. It supports a good range of crypto assets. In terms of coin support though, it doesn't support as many assets as Trust Wallet or Coinomi. And for many people looking to buy and hold a lot of altcoins, you may find the coin support lacking somewhat in Coinbase Wallet. But you have some advantages as well, including the ability to link up your trading accounts into your Coinbase Wallet so you can seamlessly send cryptocurrencies from your trading accounts into the wallet. Once you are into the app, you have two options, either restore a wallet or create a new one. You can restore a wallet simply by entering the password or key that you have, and then you can gain access to that wallet. We're gonna concentrate on creating a new wallet though, so we can click that one, and then come to the next page where you can pick your username. Other Coinbase users can search for your username and send you cryptocurrencies using that, rather than a long and complicated cryptocurrency address. You do have to turn on public in your privacy settings though, not a big deal for most of us, but if you want true anonymity, you're gonna to have to go private. You can change this in the settings afterwards though. Once you've chosen your privacy settings, it will ask you to add an extra layer of protection to get into the app. If you've got an iPhone or an Android smartphone with biometrics, you can do that. Then it will ask you if you want to back up your wallet. For iPhone users anyway, you can use iCloud to store your security key. The next step now is going through and looking at your security key. This is 12 words that are completely random and these 12 words inputted in order is your password and your security key for the wallet. I recommend writing those 12 words down on a piece of paper that you can keep safely and won't have risk of being lost or damaged in some way. As long as you have those 12 words, you can back up your wallet with all its assets on a different phone. If you lose that 12 word key and your phone, then you may not get access to the wallet again. So be sure not to lose that 12 word passphrase. Once you have done that though, you can get into using Coinbase Wallet. Now that we're in the application, let's first come to the settings and you'll see that actually your recovery phrase is in here as well. Once you're in the application and you use your face ID or touch ID or whatever to link up, you can come and see your recovery phrase and make sure that you haven't made any mistakes with writing it down. If you lose the piece of paper that you've written it down on, then it is in here, but this won't be of any use if you lose your phone because of course you won't be able to come in and see it. You can also come and change the default currency here. So I've got it valued in US dollars right now. You can change that to your local currency to make the cryptocurrency valuations appear in your local currency. Also important is something called wallet link. And I've actually got a decentralized application linked already here. This is a really important feature though, if you want to use the wallet, it allows you to link up the wallet with decentralized applications or dApps. The best example of this is Uniswap and that's what I've actually linked here. It allows you to swap cryptocurrencies on the Ethereum blockchain. So if you had some Ethereum and you wanted to swap it for some wrapped Bitcoin, then you can trade them from your Coinbase wallet in Uniswap using their DEX and you can link them up using Wallet Link. It sounds complex, but all Wallet Link allows you to do is use the camera on your phone to scan a QR code on the desktop application of Uniswap or other dApps, and then it will link up your wallet to that dApp for you. If you prefer, you can of course just go back to Coinbase and trade on there. But Coinbase is a centralized exchange and Uniswap is decentralized. The next thing that you might wanna do if you have Coinbase Wallet is to link up your Coinbase account to it. And you can do that. We can actually come down to transfer coins. So we can click on this and then we have two options, transfer from Coinbase or transfer from elsewhere. Let's click on transfer from Coinbase first then and we can come in here. You can actually connect your accounts. You may or may not want to do this though. If you have a trading account with Coinbase, then obviously it's gonna make it really easy for you to use your cryptocurrencies stored there and put them over to your Coinbase wallet. You'll notice though that making that link 
also ties your coinbase.com identity to this wallet. This may or may not be something that you want to do, so just keep that in mind. But we can actually click on connect to Coinbase wallet and then it will go into a browser within Coinbase wallet and you'll have to put in your email address and password. This is the account that you use to sign up for Coinbase. Once you have linked them up successfully, you don't have to transfer right away. You can transfer later or you can click on start transfer to go and see which coins that you may want to transfer into your Coinbase wallet. There are many coins that aren't supported on Coinbase Wallet, as you can see, but if you hold any cryptocurrencies within your Coinbase trading account, they will be listed at the top for you. And then you can just click on them very easily and see if you want to transfer them in. As an example, if I click on Ethereum, right now this is in my Coinbase trading account, but you can come and transfer any amount that you want into your Coinbase Wallet. So you can use Max, and then it will take the max amount that you can transfer in. You can also see the difference between the amount of Ethereum and its value in the fiat currency that you've chosen to value it in, US dollars for now. Or you can just simply delete this and actually choose an amount. So maybe I wanna transfer $25 worth. You can change this as up to you. But if you just click use max, you can actually go to continue now, and then it's gonna show you a preview of the transaction. The most important thing to note here is the estimated miner fee. Now this is a fee that you pay the Ethereum network to transfer coins on the network. Because Coinbase Wallet is actually separate from the Coinbase trading accounts that you have, you can't use off-chain transfers. Something great about using Coinbase and Coinbase Pro is that if you use the off-chain transfer method, you can actually transfer cryptocurrencies without any miner fees. That is because you're using Coinbase's custody services and so they are sending it in-house. With this though, you are using the network and so you will pay a mining fee to transfer into your Coinbase wallet. At the current time, Ethereum fees are astronomically high. You can see I'll be paying $5.43 just to transfer in $38 worth of Ethereum. I don't want to do this right now because I'll just be giving away six bucks, but you can click transfer wallet and that will go through for you along with the next block of transactions in the Ethereum blockchain. As we come out of here though, we can also click connect to elsewhere. So if you want to receive some coins, we can come down to transfer coins again, or you can click up here on receive. It actually opens the same window. Let's say I wanted to receive some Bitcoin. I can click on Bitcoin. Now what we are shown is the Bitcoin address that we have associated with our Coinbase wallet. A cryptocurrency address is a long combination of letters and numbers, as you can see here, or an easier way is this QR code. The way that we receive coins is by having someone else send their coins to our cryptocurrency address. We will then have to go to a different system. Maybe you're using Coinbase.com, maybe you're using Binance, maybe you're using another cryptocurrency wallet like Trust Wallet or Coinomi. You'll have to go and withdraw funds or send funds from there. And of course you will use the address right here to send them to. When you are sending coins, just be sure to get the address absolutely perfect. Or if you're using an application, you can go in there, press send, open up your camera and scan this QR code. You can actually share this QR code and address by clicking share address. I've got an iPhone, so the iPhone sharing options come up. But if you have an Android phone, the same will be for that. You can then go and share that address and people can send you Bitcoin or all of the other supported cryptocurrencies. If you want to send coins to a different address, a different exchange or a different wallet, when you click on send and have cryptocurrencies in your account, it will give you options to input cryptocurrency addresses. One of the options will be to use the scan QR code feature. You can click on this, it will open up your camera. Then you can go and scan any QR code that you want to send money to. You can see send money or connect to a desktop website. If you want to pay for things using Bitcoin or send any cryptocurrency anywhere, just scan the QR code or enter the cryptocurrency address when prompted. The next main feature of Coinbase Wallet though is the apps browser and you can press this icon in the middle. This is essentially a browser that actually connects to Google as your homepage for search. It's really easy to go and browse Google and link up all of the decentralized applications that you want to use. So if I click here, I'm gonna go and search for one inch exchange, which is a DeFi exchange aggregator. So I'm gonna click one inch and then I'm just gonna search in Google and it comes up for me here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on one inch exchange and you can see that we're basically using a mobile browser to go and look at the exchange. You can connect wallet like this as well, or you can come back and just use the Google search engine to search for any decentralized app that you want. I can also click in Uniswap right here and it's going to come up for me. Then we can get into Uniswap 
And if you want, use that exchange. And some decentralized applications can actually recognize that you're coming from a wallet application and link them up for you. You'll have to see that on an app by app basis though, but it's nice to have this option in the wallet right there where you can go and interact with a lot of decentralized applications right through your wallet. I'll leave some more helpful videos linked in the description for you with regards to the best cryptocurrency wallets. Do subscribe for way more helpful cryptocurrency content and I'll see you in the next one.